engineering is one of the most chosen career paths among indian students because of the career opportunities it provides after graduation so if you are wondering which engineering degree should you select or which are the top engineering branches in india then this video will definitely help you as in today's video i'm sharing my knowledge based on my experience after graduation hi my name is nikhil and i graduated in mechanical engineering almost 5 years ago and i have been working for the last 5 years now not all engineering degrees are equal some do offer better opportunities and better pay as compared to others now in this video i'm going to talk about the top 5 engineering branches in india i have ranked them based on couple of criteria such as the growth in that particular field placements in your final year and what kind of jobs are available in the market what kind of salary can you expect as a fresh graduate in india and abroad in countries such as the uae couple of things to note is to have a good career in engineering it is important to choose the right engineering college now not that a local tier 3 engineering college is bad or does not make you successful but it will not give you the same opportunity which a top iit or nit or triple iit would provide so ensure you are choosing the right college when it comes to engineering so since the admission season is right around the corner is the right time to decide which branch are you going to select in your btech now make sure you do your own research as well along with this video to have a more broader understanding of each branch also if you guys do find this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well so at number 5 you have civil engineering civil engineering is a branch that deals with not only the construction part but also the design planning and the maintenance of structures such as the real estate government properties commercial buildings etc now think of anything right such as such as a flyover or a building or a tunnel each of these projects requires civil engineers they ensure that these buildings or structures are well planned and are well executed in a growing country such as india this field does have a high demand considering there is no shortage of construction projects such as the highways bridges tunnels and a huge scope for building a career in civil engineering This field also provides a good scope of working in government companies or the companies in the public sector. Cities which do offer a good scope for getting a job in civil engineering are cities such as Bangalore, Hyderabad, Delhi, Chennai, Pune and Mumbai. If you're talking about placements, then companies which do come for placements are companies such as Hindustan Construction, L&T Construction, Acon, Atkins and many more. In terms of salary, the average salary a fresher in India gets is about 3.46 lakh per year. If you're graduating from IITs, the campus placement will be much higher. This is the average figure for a job in civil engineering with probably zero to two years of experience. And if you're looking for places such as the Dubai or Abu Dhabi, then the rough salary for a fresher is about 3,000 dirhams per month. So if you're someone who's interested in planning, interested in field intensive role. and you want to develop the services and facilities for the public then you should think of civil engineering as your career at number 4 you have mechanical engineering now mechanical engineering is one of the most broadest engineering fields and this is one of the main reasons why so many students actually take this particular course now mechanical engineers they design manufacture install and operate machines such as engines robotics thermal systems In the most simple words mechanical engineers they design things think of anything around us cars designed by mechanical engineers your watch designed by mechanical engineers so anything which is mechanical or thermal is basically designed by mechanical engineers the demand for jobs in this field is quite high couple of cities which do offer good scope for mechanical engineers are bangalore chennai pune hyderabad mumbai and baroda Most common industries where mechanical engineers work are the power plant, oil and petroleum, process industry and the automobile industry. The kind of companies which come for placements are Tata Group, L&T, Ashok Leyland, General Motors, Hindustan Petroleum and many others. So in terms of salary, the fresh graduate in India gets about 3.87 lakh rupees per year and in terms of pay scale abroad in places such as Dubai The starting salary for a mechanical engineer is roughly about 4500 to 5000 rupees per month. Now, having a good understanding of physics and math is important if you're planning to take a career in this field. Also, you need to have an interest towards machines. 
You can also watch this video where an engineering dad talks about her career experience in mechanical engineering field. And this video will help you understand how your career will grow once you graduate as a mechanical engineer. I'll put the link to that on the top and in the description below. So at number three, you have chemical engineering. So this is the field where you are designing processes to transport, transform and produce materials. In simple words, chemical engineers, they design and develop chemical manufacturing processes. You can also say they are the ones who do the math, science and engineering to make medicines accessible to humans. Or another example can be they are the ones who make water more drinkable or they are the ones who make the environment more sustainable. Having a good knowledge of physics, chemistry, biology and math is important in this field. This field does provide a lot of career opportunities. You can go into biotechnology, pharmaceutical, you can go into environment related field. You can also go into energy field. So this course offers a broad career path. Now one thing to note is the job opportunities which you have in the core chemical industry in India is actually lesser as compared to job opportunities in mechanical. But the growth and pay scale is actually higher in this particular industry. If you're looking for locations in India, then you have good scope of work in Bangalore, Baruj, Mumbai, Chennai, Baroda, Hyderabad, along with other locations. The companies which usually come for placements are companies such as BPCL, HPCL, Tata Chemicals, Procter & Gamble, Asian Paints, etc. The average salary for freshers in India is about 5.15 lakh rupees and the average salary for freshers in places like such as Dubai or Abu Dhabi is roughly about 6,500 dirhams per month. At number 2, we have Electronics and Communication Engineering. Now, this field of engineering has become popular over the last decade. Have you ever wondered how does your mobile work or how does your TV work or you have 3G, 4G, 5G network how does the network and the speed of the network work? So these are the domains on which electronic engineers actually work. So if you're someone who is interested in electrical circuits, digital gadgets, power electronics, then you should consider taking this field. In simple words, they are the engineers who design and oversee the entire manufacturing of communications and broadcast systems. We all know telecommunications and electrical industry is set to grow year on year and hence there's a huge scope to build a career in electronics and communication engineering. It is becoming one of the most popular engineering degrees among students in India today. The students who graduate in this field are highly employable and can work in many areas such as automotive, IT, telecoms and transport. This field gives you an option to work in both hardware and in software jobs. When you talk about hardware, it's more to do with design, research and the production. Few companies which come for placement or the kind of companies where you can actually work as an electronics engineer in India are Samsung, Intel, Wipro, Reliance, Cisco Networking, Vodafone and many more. The average salary for a fresher in India is 4.68 lakh rupees and if you're looking for jobs abroad in places like Dubai then it's about 6,500 dirhams per month. There's a huge demand for students who are actually graduating in this particular field. And finally, speaking of demand, on number one, we have computer engineering. So computer engineering deals with hardware and the software related to the computer operations. Since the world is moving towards technology with companies such as Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, the demand for such candidates with computer engineering background is really high. The world is moving towards automation and the people who have an understanding of software, artificial intelligence will be highly valued. The job opportunities as a computer engineer is immense, but also you need to understand that this field is becoming highly competitive. In terms of placements, when you check any tech company, when it comes to placements, their first preference is always towards students who are graduating as a computer engineer. Then their preference is towards students who are doing electronics and communication, and then it actually goes to the rest of the branches. So the overall opportunities which the computer science field provides is actually much higher because of which they generally have high cutoffs. You can work as a software developer, computer systems engineer, data scientist, you can work in cyber security field. So this field does offer a wide range of opportunities. In India, majority of jobs for computer engineers are in Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, Chennai, Mumbai and Gurgaon. The average salary for a computer engineer as a fresher 
is roughly about 5 lakh and if you are looking for jobs in the Middle East then the average salary for a fresher in computer engineering is roughly about 7500 dirhams per month. So overall all the engineering domains are equally good in terms of employment. The reason I haven't added specific engineering such as automobile engineering or industry engineering is because if you are graduating let's say in mechanical then you can actually work in these sectors. So select a course which is actually quite broad. Also select something where you have interest in. When you are thinking of taking any field you need to think from a long term perspective. Often times it is quite difficult to understand what are your interest in. So best would be talk to people who have graduated and are working in this field or talk to students who are currently doing engineering. If you are thinking of taking civil engineering talk to someone who is currently working as a civil engineer. As that way this will give you a better understanding of which engineering path should you select. Also checking the course for each branch will help you decide better. 4 years is a very long time so make sure you're choosing something where you have interest and not taking it just because everyone around you wants you to be an engineer. So that's everything from my end. If you found this video useful make sure you like the video and if you want to watch more of such similar videos Make sure you subscribe as well as it will definitely help this small channel grow. And with that said, I'll see you all in the next video.